But if we're not to to judge the situation, you know, for me, you're you're picking up clues. Do you bring that up in as you're listening to the story? I don't bring it up in the sense that I acknowledge I see things. Uh, no, I just keep asking the questions that is going to open it up for him. Do so you store that information? Yeah, that I just yeah, I, I just hold it back because if I you know um, as I put this out this way, I I could see what was happening, but and, and this wasn't the case I had, but I would keep that information in my mind and ask him questions that would lead. to to it, such as uh, I wrote on the back of this even, a little farther on, you know, what questions I would ask, and that is, uh, um, what did he feel like when he's there? He's, 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 he's lost, he's cut out, he's, uh, he's not part of the family. Uh, it's amazing if you ask these questions what they will do, they will bring up so much of this information for you. Uh, and then um, uh, I would ask him, um, you know, who do you feel like? Uh, in other words, to get him to be able to acknowledge he has a feeling for the father. When did this happen before? It didn't happen to him, but he remembers it happened to his father. So those subtle little questions will unite him in spirit to his father, and he'll, he'll see what's happening there for him.